All right, Eagles fans, back with another interview opportunity and a chance to meet uh, one of those new Eagles. And uh, tonight we have uh, one of those great Eagles in Charlie Gerard. Charlie Gerard, a forward out of Minnesota State, Mankato. And uh, Charlie, thanks so much for joining us and uh, congratulations. We're, we're thrilled to have you here with the Colorado Eagles. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm really excited to be here and be a part of the organization. Uh, tell me about your decision to sign with uh, Colorado's organization. And again, you've had a great career. You had your, your best year ever as a senior at Mankato. Uh, you were almost a point of game guy, 13 goals. Uh, obviously, this was the, the end of your collegiate career that you wanted and your springboard into the pro game. But what made sense about Colorado for you? Uh, you know what? I'm not really sure. It was, uh, it was kind of a weird ending to our season and uh, up there in Mankato, obviously, with everything going on with the virus and all. Um, so I kind of I came back home and it was quiet there for a minute. Uh, I wasn't really talking to anybody, and then Colorado came along and it just seemed like a right fit, and they seemed like they believed in me. And I actually have family that live out uh, in Denver, in the Denver area, so um, got people out there. So yeah, I'm really excited for everything. That's always a great bonus when you have people uh, right in the next door area here to uh, yeah. Wiser Event Center. So that, that should be exciting. Also, you have a, a good friend and a former roommate, Ian Scheid, uh, who's also going to be coming to the Colorado Eagles. And, uh, was that something that you looked at as, say, hey, this is a big bonus that uh, this is one of your good friends, you get a chance to play with him? Yeah, exactly. I mean, he was my roommate for uh, four years. And uh, obviously, we never would have thought that we would keep playing together. Obviously, it'd be great. And it's going to be great. And he called me and he said Colorado was interested and I said that's that's awesome that I'm sure they they really like it and they called me about him too and yeah I'm really excited to have him there and it should be fun for the both of us. Well, we asked Ian, you know, how do you describe Charlie? He had some great things to say, but how would you describe Ian's game and what fans can expect from him? Oh, uh, I think he's a he's a skilled defenseman. Obviously, he had like 90 some points at uh, at Mankato and um yeah, he's a good puck moving defenseman and a good power play guy. And he's, uh, I'd say, he's probably a playmaker more than a goal scorer, but you can find the guys uh, in the right areas and get them the puck. So, how about yourself? How would you describe your game? And again, you, you put in a lot of goals. You had 25 goals in your last two seasons at Mankato, uh, 30 points in 37 games in your senior year. But how would you describe the way you approach the game? Uh, I'd, I'd say I'm a playmaker as well. And I like using my speed to, uh, get in the zones and yeah, probably a playmaker and I got uh, pretty good speed and I can find them that every once in a while. <laughs> well, your brother, Freddie, uh, is a guy who's a little bit older than you played at Ohio state and went on played the ECHL uh, last year. And uh, is he somebody that you've kind of bounced some of these ideas off of, of how do you make that transition from the, the college game to the pro game? Yeah, for sure. I, I contacted him, uh, kind of towards the end of the year, just seeing how the whole pro thing was going. And he, uh, he mentioned it, it's hard. It's, it's different than college. And obviously I, I knew that. And he said, you just got to find a way to fit in and kind of get in your, your, your own zone or groove, how, whatever you want to call it and uh, try to make that transition. But yeah, I'm really excited. I've been working in this weird time in summer, just skating and everything. So hopefully it turns out pretty good. Well, uh, Colorado itself and the Budweiser Event Center, have you had a chance to talk to anybody about it or, or learn a bit, a bit about so what it's like to, to play in that environment? No, I haven't, but I've heard uh, some good things. I, uh, some of my former teammates that play in the AHL, they told me good things about it and that uh, the place gets pretty wild during the, during the game, so I'm really excited to see the atmosphere. How about playing at altitude? That's something we always ask you know, first-year guys here. Is that something that uh, is daunting or you have to, to maybe put in a little bit more effort when it comes to conditioning just to get ready for camp? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be an a adjustment for me, and hopefully I adjust pretty well to it. But, yeah, I've never really – I haven't been to Colorado yet, so I haven't really experienced that so far. Well, getting a chance now to watch the NHL get back into the flow and, and play games – uh, does that make it now seem a, a little bit more real that all of a sudden now you've you got a timeline, the AHL has a target date to get back on December 4th. It, it, does it start to feel a little bit more real, as you had said, after this long you know, layoff of, of months where there's just been no hockey and you just try to find ice and, and try to, to get some conditioning in? Yeah, it's been weird uh, with no uh, hockey on TV or anything like that. I've been skating probably three times a week here in Cleveland. So it's kind of been nice since the rinks uh, been opened up. 
but yeah, uh, I mean, still kind of a little, little bit of ways till we start going until training camp starts, but I'm getting really excited watching hockey. Hockey's on right now. I was just watching that before we got on here. So just, uh, just enjoying the hockey. Well, your coach at Mankato has described you as a big time energy guy. And that's something that jumps out from your game. Is that something that as a, a first year player coming in, you try to implement to, to make yourself known as you had said and and earn yourself a spot and find your niche is, is that through your energy you believe yeah I think so yeah I, I mean I'm just going to try to go in there and um just just like I said I think my speed is the biggest part of my game and obviously speed you bring some energy just kind of buzzing around out there and uh, hopefully I can do that when I get there all right now we're going to close things down with a little bit of a lightning round just some this or that type questions get to know you a little bit better here uh first of all uh who was the player that you idolized growing up um probably Hendrik Zetterberg really liked him as a player and what do you like about his game that, that you try to emulate uh, I think uh I mean he was just a he was a pure goal scorer and I obviously love scoring goals and I think when the, the pressure was on him he kind of just he delivered at all the times with him and Pavel Datsuk and all those guys. I loved watching watching them play. How about uh, pregame rituals? Do you have any of those that you always go to? Um, I I don't think so. I mean, I guess I tape my stick at a certain time of the the uh, certain time of the day, and then I kind of start getting into the normal text, like those things that uh, you put on your legs, you get the elastic acid out. So I kind of got into those at Mankato. So, yeah, I guess that's that's my ritual. A pre-game meal, what's your favorite? Um, Probably a peanut butter jelly sandwich. <laughs> so and not the rain. pasta, not the chicken, the, just no, a yeah. PBJ. Yep, exactly. All right. How about this, uh, bowling or golf? Uh, golf. Biggest pet peeve in a locker room? Mm. Biggest pet peeve in a locker room? Maybe not picking up after yourself. <laughs> That's always a pet peeve of the equipment managers too. Yeah, right? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> Card games or board games? Uh, board games. So you're not one of the guys in the back of the bus playing cards the whole time. No, no, I'm usually up uh, just listening to my music, kind of zoned out. Favorite hockey memory, and I know you had some great ones at Mankato. Um, yeah, probably winning the WCHA playoffs my uh, junior year. That was probably the best one. Black or white tape on your blade? Uh, I go back and forth. Right now, I'm I'm white tape guy, but I'm sure that will change here in the next few months. Last one for you: texting or phone call? Uh, phone call. I yeah, I'm not a big texter. That's good to hear. That's good to yeah. hear. You pick up the phone and still have a conversation. <laughs> well, Charlie, we appreciate it very much, and it's great to get to know you. We're excited to have you here in Colorado, and uh, now there's a target date out there to to start the season back up. Uh, it won't be long now, and we'll look forward to seeing you out here for camp. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for having me. All right, that is forward Charlie Gerard, an opportunity to meet one of the newest Eagles.